are back with Richard Southern. Been a busy day for you, Richard. You're at Queen's Park. You're covering business news. Now we're into the interesting stories chat, and it's a good one. Yeah, we're talking about starting off with the Beatles because, Richard, really, is there anything AI can't do? Oh my goodness, they're, they're bringing the Beatles back to life. I mean, this is wild. I think we talked about this a few months ago when they announced it, Erica. But today, uh, the Beatles released what will probably be their final song. And yes, it was with a little help from AI. The vocals were off a of John Lennon demo tape from 1978, but it was artificial intelligence that really pulled it all together. The song is called, uh, he, uh, well, the song is called Now and Then. Uh, let's take a listen to it together, Erica. It's nice, eh? It's so nice, yeah. It felt, uh, I got into it right away within the first few seconds. Yeah, the vocals um, were done by, by uh, as I say, Lennon back in, in, in 78, but the, the piano in that track was drowning him out. And, you know, for uh, years there was nothing they could do about that, but along comes AI and it was able to isolate his voice, uh, take it out, and then, uh, you know, we had Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney go into the studio uh, to finish the musical side, and, and, and here it is, the, the last, Beatles song and you know uh, my late father was from Liverpool loved the Beatles so I was certainly thinking of him yeah. as I listened to it today I know I guess a lot of people probably got emotional listening to that uh, track here yeah definitely such a gift for fans longtime fans I think okay uh, let's stick with the music theme and that uh, this one's turning into a real hot potato let's say for one popular children's group the Wiggles, and if you've never seen Young Kids watch The Wiggles, it's quite something. They figured out the formula, uh, this musical group, uh, to, to really transfix children. Anyways, they have a, a, a hit song among kids called Hot Potato, and uh, it's kind of a hot potato story in Western Australia, where a city is using the song, Erica, uh, to deter homeless people from sleeping in, in one particular area. Let's listen to the tune. Hot potato, hot potato. So the, the Wiggles are not too happy about this. They released a statement saying that their, their music is intended to bring joy and happiness to children and families around the world. Quote, we are deeply disappointed to hear it is being used in other ways. Yeah. And, you know, I, I agree that it shouldn't be used in that way. I actually hear, you know, around Toronto sometimes music being used to, I guess, uh, dissuade unhoused people from, from being in a particular area. Having said that, that track would make me scurry away too, Erica, I have to admit. <laughs> so you're saying I should have it in my playlist just in case I might need it. <laughs> <laughs> no more Richie hanging around. I get it. Okay. All right. Finally, cats <laughs> might not be able to talk, but they apparently have many other ways of expressing themselves. This is pretty cool, Erica. Researchers at UCLA uh, did a study on cats, and they found they have 276 unique facial expressions that they think they use to communicate with each other, and they think many of these expressions cats picked up from us humans. There were 45 uh, thought to be friendly facial expressions, 37 thought to be aggressive or angry, and 18 unknown. The researchers say they're hoping uh, that cat lovers and researchers <laughs> and shelters will be able to figure out what they mean. What do you think these expressions mean? Me on these I cats, Erica. Don't know. I maybe annoyance on one of on one of them. <laughs> I, don't know. I would say those are two <laughs> pretty cool cats, don't you think? Uh, very yes, cool cats for sure. I would agree with you on that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good meow. way to end the chat. Thanks so much, Richard. Go go home. You've, you've had a long day. I'll see go you tomorrow. Go back to my my litter box. See you, Eric. See you tomorrow. <laughs>